So, after we finished with the base modeling for this house, we will continue with adding the model and setting up the scene for the lighting. Now before that, we just need to close the floor under the building. Here in this area under the secondary mesh, I will select the ground plane, hit tab for edit mode and just bring those edges back to this corner. Then, I extrude them again as shown. This way we can extrude the new part under this mesh and give it a different shade if needed. To cover the floor under the main mesh, I will add a new plane here and extend the edges to close it. Now, to start adding models to the scene, make a new collection, it's always better to keep your work organized. I do have this file opened and it contains the models we need, each object is in a separate collection and you can download it the file from the link in the description. So, to bring them here, I will use the link method, this way we don't add heavy load on the scene. Now, from the file menu, look for link, and select the file needed, inside it, open the collection folder and select any of the models to link it inside our scene. And here it is, we can now move this model, scale it around and rotate it if needed. I will place this green wall on both sides of the house. So make sure it sits on the ground, and hit shift D to make a copy to the right side of the building. I did flip it to get those sprouts over the wall. Continuing with the link process, this time I will bring the small palm tree. And here it is. We can scale it down a bit, and place it around the house. So first place will be through the hole in the first floor. Once you done with that, press Shift D to make a new copy. We did rotate the first tree a bit, 
so press Alt R to reset the rotation in the new copy. And scale it around to fit. Again make a new copy to the right side and scale it if needed. I did move the camera back to make the areas around the house more visible. Now back to the link process, I will import the big palm tree, and make some copies of it around the house. With this bush we imported, you can copy it around as you like. I will make a line of bushes along the front stairs. So place it there, and hit Shift D to make one copy, then hit Shift R to repeat the copy process. We can now use the Move, Rotation and Scale commands to make them look different from each other. I did copy those bushes and placed them under this wall. For this trash can model, I only need two of them on both sides of the house, so place them as you see fit. I do have this chain model opened in a separate file, so before we copy it to the scene, I will show you how to make it. Press Shift A to add a torus. In the settings window to the left, degrease the segments count to keep it light on the scene. Then, Scale it down to around 6 or 7 centimeters.
from top view, and with X-ray mode, select half of the shape and delete it. Then move it back away from its origin, we did the last move for the mirror we gonna add, so, from the modifier panel, add the mirror modifier. Enable the clipping option. Then, in edit mode, move those vertices toward the mirror part, the clipping will prevent them from intersecting. Once you done, apply the modifier and with the right mouse button, hit shade smooth. Now to copy this shape and make the chain, add an array to it. We also need an empty to control the array, so add an empty axis here. In the array settings, switch the offset from relative to object. And in the object field, select the empty. Now first it might look like this and that because we didn't apply scale yet, so hit Ctrl A to do that. Now, if we move the empty, a new copy should appear, then, if we rotate the empty by 90, and increase the count for the array, we can get the basic shape for the chain. To make it look curvy, add a path curve. Hide this empty for now we don't need it. So, if we select the chain, we can add to it a modifier called curve, and link it to the path we added. So take this pen icon and select the path. Now if we select it and move its points inside edit mode, we can get the curve shape for the chain. Finally, you can increase the count number to complete the chain along the path, or we can change the type in the array and make it on fit curve. From this pen icon we can select the path, and it should complete the chain along the curve. Now if we extend the path in any direction, the chain will follow. And that's it, I did add a cylinder on both sides of the chain. And once you done with the shape, apply the modifiers in order, and bring your model to the scene. Now with a simple copy paste process, we could bring this model to our scene, and place it as we see fit. I had the pivot transformation on individual origin, so each object rotate on its own, change it to median point to rotate them together. So I will place this on both sides near the trash cans. We still have the cars to import, using the same link process. Open the car file, and select them all. Then hit link. And as you saw in the render, I have one of them in the street, and the other two in the empty area under the first floor, so place them as you see fit.
And that's it, next part we will finish the lightings in the scene and add some materials. So until then, stay sharp, farewell.